Good Thursday morning. Welcome to Upper Michigan Today featuring Cody Boyer. It's been a minute since I've had you on the show with me. It's been a minute. Almost more than a year? I think I think you might be right. I don't know. Have you ever done an hour long show with us yet? No. No, so never. Yeah. So yeah. I have not done the hour long here for sure. I was just watching in the open. The open it was beautiful. You guys have a lot of fun on the show. Oh my gosh, we have the most fun on this show. I think our open is so much fun. I love seeing all the different memories and I can't wait for that to be updated with all the ones that we've made in the past year since this show mm -hmm. has been um it's been on for an hour. How much earlier do you have to wake up when you come do the show with us than, than normal? <laughs> Surprisingly, not that much. Uh, d I got a dog. Mm -hmm. he, he's in my alarm clock in the morning. So while I'll come in a little later for the you know, evening news and mm -hmm. so forth, Big Timber wakes me up fairly early. Get him walking. Right now is usually our walking time. Yeah, well, he's probably like, where's dad? I hope oh, you left sure. the TV on for him so that I you did. can at least uh, hear your voice. I did, <laughs> for many reasons. If TV's not on, he'll seek and destroy. You didn't run into any rain showers on your walk, did you? No, uh, no, actually it was pretty pleasant this morning. Good yeah, spot, I mean, it is pretty pleasant, pretty, I'd say it's kind of warm out there right now, but um, listening to Jennifer give the weather cast uh, all morning long, she says we're in for some light rain mm. throughout the UP. Nothing too crazy though, just nope. a, a little bit of scattered showers. If you take a look outside in Marquette right now. Spring is springing. Sp it's spring is springing. It looks very spring-like out there. A little bit cloudy, but also pretty bright. Up yep. in Houghton. Beautiful up there in Houghton too right now, especially. I, I always look at this cam. It looks like a scene from a postcard, whether it's snowing or not. But at the same time, that sun has been something we have been looking mm -hmm. for for quite some time, at least those who are seeking spring. That's what Elizabeth and I always say, that it looks like we're looking into a snow globe or yeah. something of the sort. Yeah. yeah it's not to say anything, I mean, mm -hmm. our cat's got yeah. that too. You look out at the harbor, but there's just something about that sky cam over College Avenue. I mean, it's just the angle of the Marquette sky cam. Uh, <laughs> it, it's got nothing on the Houghton one. Um, <laughs> but on the topic of spring springing in, in Marquette, the annual migration of the blue spotted salamanders ah. is actually happening this week. So uh, Northern Michigan University students and professors were out at Presque Isle collecting data and ad advising the public Tuesday night. These salamanders emerge from the ground and make their way from wooded areas to the bog behind the Moosewood Nature Center to lay their eggs. Now from 8 at night until 8 in the morning, a portion of Peter White Drive in Presque Isle Park will be shut down to allow the salamanders a chance to cross the road safely. There's a lot of them too. That portion will be closed to cars and bikes until May 15th or until the migration is deemed complete from 8 at night until 8 in the morning. Again, that portion's shut down. You'll see those barricades up making sure the little guys and gals out there that are relocating to lay their eggs in that bog are safe. Something to keep in mind too. We got a lot of good video um, from senior reporter Jerry Tudor mm -hmm. two nights ago. Finally got some more doing the convoys. That salamanders are always an interesting thing. They got a lot of science to them. You know, I didn't even realize that salamanders, blue spotted salamanders were a native species until we started running these stories on the news. And, and I feel like a lot of other residents of Marquette didn't realize no. that either. We see that Peter White Drive is closed. We don't really know why. Well, that's why. To protect those little critters, I have never actually gone out and actually <gasps> seen the migration, which is really? something that's on my Marquette bucket Gotta list. Got to do it. Got to do it. Uh, it's just, you've never, and it's really hard to find something like that anywhere. Mm -hmm. we, get, we have a few species of salamanders in northern Michigan, upper Michigan, even lower Michigan, but I don't, I think we are one of the few locations in the country that has a spot just like that on Presque Isle that has mm -hmm. such a big tide of the, mm -hmm. of the amphibian there going across. They're so unique. If people think, ah, oh, they're like worms, they're mm -hmm. gross, but I think if you look at them a lot closer, there's so much more uniqueness to the species. Totally. It's really neat to see. Totally. Well, I'm definitely gonna have to check that out this week. Another story out of Marquette, the deadline to file paperwork to run for a seat on the Marquette City Commission or the Marquette Board of Light and Power is approaching. Now the paperwork is due by four in the afternoon on Tuesday, April 23rd. There are currently four seats up for election in November, two on the commission, two on the Board of Light and Power. Marquette City Clerk Kyle Whitney says Michigan's early deadline for the paperwork sometimes catches prospective candidates off guard. Now you can download election paperwork at UpperMichiganSource.com or the TV6 and Fox UP mobile news app. Important to note, the instructions on where to send that paperwork are also included on those websites. So that's an opportunity for anyone in Marquette looking to get involved in their local government. Yep. 
Now the Copper Shores Community Health Foundation has announced it will launch a new sexual assault hotline. This comes after announcing its crisis line will shut down in June. This new hotline feeds directly to the Michigan Coalition to End Domestic and Sexual Violence and the service is going to be available 24-7 across the western UP. Now its victim support team is funded by the state. While the calls will be picked up in lower Michigan, advocates here are standing by ready to help. Copper Shores says the new hotline should be available soon. Another important resource, especially, well, especially everywhere, but namely in Upper Michigan this time. I know, I know that that resource, because they're closing down their old crisis line. They say this one, uh, the the people who answer the phone calls will be better prepared to help you in the event yeah. of an emergency. Yeah. So uh, great to see the Copper Shores Community Health Foundation implementing a service as such. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, something happening this weekend in Marquette, the Marquette Symphony Orchestra is uh -huh. gearing up for its final concert of the season. So this is your last chance to check out the Marquette Symphony Orchestra until its next concert in July. So that's happening this Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Kaufman Auditorium. I spoke with the director of music, Octavio Mas Arrocas, this morning on the morning news. You can check out that interview on our website, UpperMichiganSource.com, if you want to hear more about this theme, Soul Force. It sounds forceful and soulful. Soulful and forceful. <laughs> he says it's going to be a really powerful concert, so you won't want to check it out because your opportunity to, to uh, take a listen and, and check out the orchestra, it dies down until the summertime. Yeah. Um, and on the topic of music, because really that's what our show is going to be focused on today, I just wanted to share what we've been listening to. This is my on-repeat playlist. Um, I got a little mix of everything on there, including mm -hmm. Hamilton. I, okay, I, I was introduced to the Hamilton soundtrack a few weeks ago, and I've been loving it lately. And I've also, I think I've counted four or five uh, songs from Beyonce's new album on here, which I have been loving. I'd say my, my favorite songs from that album are Alligator Tears, mm. um, Levi's Jeans, and Yaya. Yeah. Those, are, those are such fun songs. But I have a tendency to... Like this is my on repeat playlist is my go to playlist. So then I'm only ever listening to the same songs over and over <laughs> again. So then the songs on my on repeat playlist, like they've some of these have been on here for nothing wrong a year with now. That. Nothing, nothing wrong, wrong with that. With that. Yeah. I wonder Got what, some classics. I wonder what you listen to. My guess is is Gordon Lightfoot and John Denver. John Denver, Gordon Lightfoot. Oh yes. <laughs> oh yeah. That's it's a gro yeah. <laughs> If you look at my computer, if you ever hear it, you know it. Mm -hmm. Music I love John Denver, grew up on his music. Kind of an old soul. Well, I believe we have, uh, this is oh kind of your quick picks, which you've been listening to. I, you kind of have that, like, stomp and holler, old school country kind of vibe about you. Yeah, a little stomp and holler, especially get you up and going Ooh, in the morning. Hamilton. There you go. I like good Broadway hits, too, and there's sneak in. Oh, and I see some Taylor Swift. Yeah, oh, the there. girlfriend. She's big, giant, huge, giant as are you, mm -hmm. I've heard, a <laughs> giant fan of Taylor Swift. So she's been having me learn some of the songs, and I've been doing it on the side just on the guitar to try to, but at the same time, beautiful songwriter. I mean, one thing about Taylor Swift is that she, I feel like she bridges the gap for a lot of people. She connects so many people together, people, you know, in different demographics. She yeah. connects fathers with their daughters, football fans with non-football fans. It, it's really cool to see. Yeah. And it, that's kind of what the topic of yeah. our show is today, is bridging gaps in the community, forming a stronger community through music. So we're talking about an upcoming event hosted by Delta Chats at Bay College. This is an online event. It's happening nationally. It's called The Music of Our Lives, and it's purpose is to start healthy discussions around music. We're going to get into what exactly that means and a little bit more about the event and the organization when we come back from the break.